Mine's been um, stormy. Um, yeah, lots of weather, lots of stuff going on. Um, and uh, yeah, so yeah, I, I gotta I gotta adjust this real quick. One thing that's really really frustrating about having swag over is he always adjusts the chair. All right. He's, he's, he can't help it. He's just a little taller than me, so it, you know, it turns out that he raised the chair up. So, last we had played, we were in the middle of stuff. Good morning, Hobbs. We were in the middle of a lot of stuff. I, I think we're going to go down here and see what happens. I'm not really, ooh, that's a lot. That's a lot, a lot. Um, where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Okay. What all is in here? Lots of evils in here is what it is. Okay. Um, wow. So... Last we were playing, we, we were, we were, you know, we were experiencing stuff. We were looking at some stuff. Um, you know, I kind of wish the, kind of really do wish that the, um, Gerudo ability when locked, used the bow instead of the melee weapon. Kind of nice. But alas, it doesn't. And I get that. I get that. Alright, alright. Where are you at? Where are you at? Okay. But yeah, so, you know, um... Other things that, you know, kind of come to mind. Alright. I, I do like Talon. Because, if no other reason, then there's just a lot of ranged that Talon gives us access to. Just having backup ranged attacks is pretty good. Sure would be nice if uh, Riju's ability was triggered by Talon, though. But, you know, the... Uh, Well, we are getting nowhere fast. That's okay, though. That'll help. Boy, a shatter and... Oh, that, that is just a lot of... That's just a lot of... Being really... Oh, crit! crit you know you had talked about that Hobbs where talent can crit sometimes it's rather nice being able to hit the off button like that is super helpful actually and read you like a book alright there we go alright oh, lots of dead Absolutely, the, the the crit is is definitely good. I'm I'm not going to turn that down at all. Ah, toasted hearty truffle. Okay, we don't get all the goodness out of it, but we get some. That's not bad. The um, so you know th there was a saga that we went over when we were playing our our last kind of just doing stuff randomly day right where we were playing um. What was it? Harvest Moon. You know, Harvest Moon, great, great game. Uh, really enjoyed it, actually. Require a lot of time to really pick it up and, and run with it, I think. But we were talking about how the the room that used to be the Turtle Cave. That's the room before we transferred into this other stuff here. Um, the, the facilities connected to that room 
unfortunately stopped working and we actually you working you will mostly lurking nothing wrong with lurking lurk squad is always appreciated but the um ooh, hello we'll definitely spider link our way to some bombs but yeah the uh the facilities right they stopped working the specifically everything functioned except for the ability to drain where it needed to drain to and I had a an incident while trying to fix it myself and so we did have a professional come here hey hunter hey hey welcome welcome and the professional came out and they did what they do right they they had the snake line much like I was trying to use and they snaked out as best as they could the the uh, the main drain that come from that room and go to the other room uh, well not just the other room but it goes to the other clean out and they weren't able to to clear the obstruction and the reason behind that is what Diggeret and I have been every time we have something wrong with the the plumbing we would cross our fingers and really hope I mean, I, there's no other way to say it, and that's, it, Turtle Club, as you become an adult, as you become a young adult, as you go through life's challenges, this is a really horrible strategy. Crossing your fingers and just holding your breath and hoping is is bad, but sometimes that's all you got, and, and trust, um, Digger and I absolutely understand that and that's what we kind of been doing and the the thing is right um it's not a easy fix for what is most likely broken as best as the the technician can tell the the line that we have that goes from the turtle cave or for more turtle cave i should say to the sewer area, um, that line has had something crush it. Crossing your fingers doesn't always work. You're blown away. I know, I know, Hunter. I mean, you know, it, it's. I used to jokingly call it the, the the dinosaur solution because there was a, a comic strip that I used to read uh, frequently before I disagreed with the artist um, who had a character named Bob the Dinosaur. And Bob's solution for things were sometimes if you just wait long enough, the problem goes away on its own. And for certain things, that actually that actually does work. I mean, it's not the best solution. It's not the most elegant solution, but it is shockingly an effective solution. This might actually be, huh? I don't like this idea because it could wind up with me being blown up. But I know if if uh, if Sue were here, she would support this idea. Because it could possibly wind up with me being blown up. Hey, it looks like we, we came out pretty good. We came out pretty good. You know what I just realized? Bullet time is different in this game. Like... Look at that. I'm not losing any stamina. Interesting. Huh. Just joined the Discord a few months ago. Awesome! Yes, you have. You are one of the winners for the for the giveaway. So in our Discord, you'll definitely want to make sure that you follow the instructions for getting access. That way, we'll be able to meet up. Only, yeah, yeah. That it's kind of weird, but it's kind of nice. It's it's a little bit more. Um, it's a little bit more forgiving. You don't have to be as calculated. All right, this seems awfully close. I would really like 
for my Goron pal to be right up here, but I, I guess we can't all be like that. But so, so the, the, uh, can we do this though? Can we break it that way? Maybe, maybe not. It takes a couple of hits to break things, so we might be able to. So, as as best as the technician can figure, and he is, you know, every 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 technician, every tradesperson, right? They are an artist. They they are an expert of their craft. And when you take someone who is such an artist or such an expert, you do have to defer to their judgment and their expertise. So I, I can't say whether or not they are correct. I just have to trust that they're not trying to treat me and Digrat unfairly. But from what they're saying is, so like, if this is the, the drain pipe, right? The drain pipe's supposed to be like, like this, right? and have a good flow and all that. And what they're saying is that the roots have most likely crushed down into this drain pipe to where the opening, instead of being big like that, is small like that. And in general, it's not a huge problem per se, right? Water still flows, water still goes through. But like, if something were to be flushed as a solid state like you know some tissue paper and it were say a very large booger you know nose blow tissue flush it then instead of going through the pipe as it is expected to it gets caught and it can't go through now naturally over time biodegradation will happen right you you have products that are meant to go through your plumbing and part of the reason why they're able to do that is because they do, over time, deteriorate. And so even if they were to get you know, lodged in and caught in and stuck and all that, um, they're not going to be there forever. And that's, that's kind of the expectation. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. I mean, that, that's, the, that's the fun part here, right? Is I'm not 100% sure if I'm even going the right way. Uh, we just we just know that we're exploring. I'm going into the I'm going into the evil. That's usually a good sign for games like this, right? Uh, Rusty Claymore. Do we have that in our in our scrapbook? We don't. All right. So the the problem we've run into is you know the you have to go. All right. Cool deal. Oh, awesome, awesome. I uh, appreciate it, Hunter. Appreciate it. And that that is definitely something that Digger and I are sadly doing the cross our fingers and and and, uh, and hope and and wait for, um, because the the end goal on that Turtle Club for those listening to our recounting of our, our experiences with our plumber, um, the snake wasn't able to dislodge whatever it was that was causing the blockage, and that usually. Um, indicates that the blockage is not deteriorated enough to flow through and that the opening of which it needs to flow through is smaller for one reason or another than the total blockage. Well hello. Hey you know about let's go. And and that that's that's problematic. Um because there's really not a whole lot you can do to fix that. So there's there's another thing that could be what's causing it. So the the one thing is that there could be how weird. There's like a, a rock in the middle. So it could be that the you know the roots have grown against the pipe and have crushed the pipe. And that that's actually um, the the worst case scenario oddly enough to to a point oh it's an electric like like nice but the the best case scenario isn't much better
Because the best case scenario isn't that the, the roots have crushed the pipe, it's that the roots have grown into the pipe. And that's, that's easier to fix, ish. Oh, oh, all right, hey, you know, Bo. let's over this way, buddy. But the, the roots growing into the pipe is is a, a simple solution because then all you have to do realistically is kill the roots. No more roots, no more blockage, no more blockage. You should then be able to utilize the facilities. And that that is, you know, pretty simple math, right? Roots are in the way, you get the roots removed and then there's nothing in the way anymore. It's kind of the, you know, what I used to joke around was the Marvin the Martian solution to things, right? If the Earth has a fuel shortage, uh, Marvin the Martian would blow up the Earth and there'd be no more fuel shortage. And it, it you know, the logic is there, if, if not <laughs> draconian, right? But it's there. So the issue is though, right, is whatever those roots are attached to is going to be compromised. Now, various levels of compromisation, right? It could be that the, the plant in question is a simple plant and it dies. And then upon dying, uh oh, 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 um, you know, you no longer have the issue. All right, I need to get up here. I need to grab my weapon. I know I got a big weapon that does some damage. Here we go, Boko Blade, Boko Blade. Oh no, that's not what we wanted. One second. I know we have something for this. But that does mean that if, if, if the, uh, the plant dies and it's, and it's not a, a small plant, then it's going to be some deadfall. Now there are a number of small plants nearby this pipe. And one of those is, uh, there's a couple of bushes, and there is a bush that's fairly close in the grand scheme of things. So if I were to, you know, be placing odds on what it could be, this particular bush has some pretty high odds. However, we have a very forested front yard. We have a, a just in, the area near the main clean out, not the sub clean out that's got the issue, but the main clean out, just near it alone. Um, there's three trees, fairly large trees, and they're, 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 uh, well, hello, Booble. Booble gem, booble gem. And they're, you know, oh, this looks kind of cool actually. Um, it's, oh, that's not fire. We need fire. So, in regards to that, yeah, this is actually looking pretty nice. Um, so, in regards to that, right, if we were to do something to destroy the roots and it weren't one of the bushes, 
and let's say instead it were a tree these are not young trees these are not small trees because again they're not young trees these are trees that have probably been here as long if not longer than the house it would not surprise me judging by the size of these trees if the the architect who place the, the building plans down here said yeah let's go ahead and keep them trees right where they're at and didn't expect them to grow into this giant franken tree because the three of them um, are all pretty uh, pretty heavily involved with one another uh, there there is there is ample space as I would, would tell Dick Rat when we first moved here uh, where these trees are there's ample space to Put a put a hammock. So I know you guys are probably thinking, "Oh, what, what's what? What are we? We you know what, what's the what's the thing with the trees, right? Because they're this big, because they're 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 ginormous. Oh, oh that was a diamond. Nice. One of the Okay, so we, we came here, right? Came through here. Alright, so... We got there. Oh, there's more... More fire that needs to go there, probably, I guess. Um... Politely put some fire over there, too, I guess. So... If we were to, you know, disable the roots on one of these trees, the, the trees are fairly healthy right now, but taking out the root system, they, they won't be. And the, the problem with trees that aren't healthy is they tend to stop doing what trees do. And if you've never actually had the, the, the joy and the pleasure of being near a tree for a large amount of time, what trees do is they stand upright. Trees stand upright. Dead trees and logs do this thing. So, you know, if, if you know, we were to discover that it was roots growing through the pipe and we were to try to fix this, the most, you know, economical way, we could wind up having a big problem. Let's see what this takes us to. Let's see where this, this let's see where this goes. Um, well now, sure. I will absolutely go over here. Hello, door. Hello, treasure chest. Ah, uh, very unfortunate. It's just a royal bow. I say just a royal bow, right? I mean, that's 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 a lot of damage that this thing can do. Let's uh, let's save. We haven't saved in a minute. <laughs> Hmm. So where does that put us at, actually? Really nowhere in particular. Huh. I guess we go back. To the, the camp over here, maybe. So yeah, so the options are to, for, for the economical solution, to hope it's roots. And there's only one way you can tell that there's roots there, right? And that's, you have to find some kind of um, device to go into the pipe. And upon going down into the pipe, take, you know, imaging of some sort. 
Not the worst thing. Not the greatest thing, but not the worst thing. And to to that end, that's kind of what Digret and I have talked about a few times. Like, well, we should probably know for certain what we're dealing with. Is it true? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Probably need a telescope. And we we have a plumber that we utilize. It's kind of like saying, you know, I have a guy, right? Well, I have a plumber. Uh, we talked to Jossa. Joshua, yeah, yep, yep, goodbye. And our plumber is actually, I, I, I like our plumber. Oh, hey, this is uh, this is no longer obstructed. Okay. Nice. I bet I could use the bombs, right? But I think I can use like like stone and get the same effect. And I'd much rather use the like like stone. It's definitely a a cheaper option. And so we you know our, our plumber that we've we discussed with um, one of those guys that used to do this for a large company professionally and the large company much like large companies do got to a point to where they no longer needed um, experienced people to do things the old ways they did things huh It's an awful lot of cutscenes for just small stuff. Hello, name I don't have. Monte, yes. Gatekeeper, all right. Emergency shelter, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Interesting. All right. Uh, goodbye forever. No, no. I went said the whole. I found demon. No. Ah. Uh -huh. Yep. 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 Sure. What do you know? Yes. 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 Uh -huh, yeah, yeah, neat. That was no fate. Yep, yep. This area is spick and span. Sweet. Red rupee. Awesome. 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 Got a quest. Side adventures done. Boom. And progress check. At 28 minutes, in case Hobbs wants to jot that down. I'm sure Hobbs will always be able to watch it back on the replay. Alright, I'm not going in your chasms. Nope, napping. Yeah, yeah. Yellow plant stuff from the Gloom Specialist. Oh, okay. Yeah, alright. Napping Dion. Alright. Ha. Huh. Take the bed next to me. Fallen ruins. Yeah. Yeah. Things are calming now. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, there's the goddess statue. You returned. Kaelin's monster control crew. Yeah. Yeah. Monster control crew. Huh. Okay. Okay. Then we need to we need to take our picture then, right? Now 
That way we don't have to worry about this, right? But, so, uh... So, yeah, if we were to find roots, if we were to take the camera down the drain pipe and find that there are roots there, and we were able to comfortably figure that it's not going to be uh, a tree, right? Then we could kill the roots and, and fix the, the, the issue. Yeah, that's Lookout Landing. Dorito Village, yeah. Gerudo Town, yeah. Goron City. Yeah, Akala, yeah. Zoro's Domain. Shadow, the Supreme Lurker. Kakariko with the Sheikah, yeah. Hatano, yeah. Laurelin. Mm. Uh, yeah. What about you? Skilled in combat, so uses knowledge. Various peoples. Rito, right, 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 right. Mm hmm. Interesting information from that. In oh, stuff. A Boko Reaper. About to say. Wait. So it says a Boko Reaper, but it says Bokoblin Horn. Interesting. So it's not exactly what it says it is. Is there something behind it? No, no. So the the other solution, and this is even the even worse than the other solution. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Mm. Weapons over there. Yep, they decayed. So the the, the worst solution, right? Hey, a healthy cooking. All right. Okay. Fruit and mushroom mix. Yeah. Plum and apples. Yeah. Do you have any apples? Alright. I don't have any apples. Alright. So I can go... Wait. I can buy apples upstairs, though. What? That... That is... That... That... Nah. I can't be right. That can't be right. This is like... I'm used to fetch quests, right? I'm used to Zelda being fetchy. But this is this is cake taking here. Uh. So the, the the worst solution, right? What what could be worse than, you know, hey Mag, you guys gotta kill a root and it may be a tree that falls. Take them all. And while we're at it, we'll take all your arrows too. Buy them all. Okay. All right, so we can't buy them all. We're, we're, we're yeah, we'll, we'll buy almost all of them. Okay. So the solution that's that's worse than finding one in in finding roots and then killing the roots, and then hoping it's not a tree that crashes and falls in the house is that, well, we dig up the entire pipe in, in that case right here's the pipe here's the here's here's the problem is that there are things that grow above the pipe ninja turtle cup and so in order to dig up the pipe you have to dig up all the growth fruit mushroom mix Well, it's a side quest. Bam. Oh, look at that cute little corgi. Oh. So, um, 
I guess it's everybody down here, huh? Came down here, talked to people, found out it was not really all that. Hmm. Oh, what do we do? All right. Yep. Yep, we're going to talk to other ones. So the, uh, actually, actually, he talks about big monsters. Uh-huh. Yep, 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 yep. Stone talus. Hey, I like that. Show me a dot. <laughs> Hinux. I wonder if this is like um, Radiant Questing from Skyrim. Oh, neat. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. Is that just a, a free quest for, for Grins and Giggles? Side quest. Bam. We'll take it. I will absolutely take that. So, the, uh, no, we, 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 we're good. So, the, uh, you know, the, the reason why the, the other option, right, is, is not the best option by far is because it does involve digging up all of the, the, you know, the beauty that we have around the house for the plants and whatnot. And then upon doing that, and then involves digging up the pipe, and then upon doing that, it requires replacing the pipe, and upon doing that, it requires burying the pipe backwards afterwards. All right. Off rack. So I have I talked to all these people. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. All right. Yep, yep, yep. Don't miss a rung. Well, these aren't rungs. These are. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. So, like, all the important people are here, too. Yeah, this is definitely feeling like the end of the game. But, you know, after playing Skyward Sword, think something that feels like the middle could absolutely... Or feel like the end could absolutely be the middle. But, yeah, so... Dig up, you know... Dig up the, the, the local flora. Dig up the dirt. Dig up the pipe. Yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Brazil's behind the... Yeah, okay, yeah. And then all that, right? They do all that. They dig all that stuff up. They, ooh. Whoa. Forced blood moon? Oh, I'm here for this. Oh, that is so wicked looking. Oh, oh, what we got, what we got, what we got? Disappeared with the blood moon?
Regional Phenomenon Main Quest complete. Boom. Crisis at Hyrule Castle. All right. What do we got time-wise? Oh, we got like 25 minutes left. Oh, Turtle Club. This is going to be... This is going to be some good stuff. We're going to save before we go anywhere worse where we're at, though. So, we got a quote. You know, as one does from the from the plumbing company. And they said they could come in and, and do all the digging that we need. Take care of the situation for us. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. Like, Huh. Central Hyrule Sky Archipelago. If I could just get like past the guardhouse, I would feel pretty good actually. But, you know. But yeah, so the quote they gave us, um, so I just want to start off by saying what, we, you know, we have a guy, right? We have a personal plumber. And he came up and said, hey, Mag, dig rat. You're good people. I appreciate you. You guys have been giving me business. Um, uh, when there, there's things that you're... Your home warranty doesn't cover. You know, it's about having those kind of relationships with people that do work for you, right? And uh, the guy's uh, last name is, is Best, which is kind of cool because he's the best plumber. Uh, that's his business, right? And we were like, hey, Mr. Best, we really appreciate that. Okay, I am lightning proof, if I remember right. But just in case I'm wrong on that, we're going to save. And we're like, we appreciate, you know, we appreciate all that. Hey, we are lightning proof. Sweet. And all of our weapons survived. Excellent. And, you know, so that was that was kind of like their big deal is hey, um, we, we appreciate you doing all this, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna tell you what our thoughts are. And they were pretty upfront. Um, when it's when we have them come out and do this kind of work for us, it's not a an inexpensive thing, right? So I, if I were able to fly up there, I could then fly up into the waterfall. So let's do this. Let's do this. Um, Boom, boom, boom. And let's um, clearly let's 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 equip this. And let's go to a, a weapon that doesn't have the shocky. Nice. All right. And then we're going to do this. We have a pile of wood. Where's the pile of wood? Here's a pile of wood. Hold. And so, you know, they, they're like, yeah, we, all this is great. This is this is stuff that oh okay so 
That was problematic. Can we fix that? We can. I think we can do this. And I think if we put Okay, well that's unfortunate. I was really hoping that the fire on that would, would you know, be useful, but apparently it's not. All right, that's fine. Um, can we go up there, right? That looks fine. That looks sheltered from the uh, from from the stuff. Hey, there we go. There we go. This will work. This will work. Sweet. So so he takes me and Digret aside and says, "Hey, um, Mag Digret, you good customers, and." Whenever you need me to come out here, we, we you know there's a small amount that I have to charge for my time, my material, and my labor. It's the business. And he says, you know, you just recently bought this house. And we're like, yeah. And he's like, and it looks like I'm having to come here. At the time, it was his third time to come out and to do a clean out. We've had the house almost three years. So that's not quite twice a year, but a little bit more than once a year. And he said, what's your mortgage? How long is your mortgage gonna last? And it's a 30 year mortgage. That's a very common mortgage, right? And he said, Mag, I can come out here doing this as often as I'm doing right now. And this is what he said. This is this is what he said, Turtle Club. He said, I can do this as often as I'm doing it right now. And your mortgage will be paid off by the time you have paid me to come out here and to keep doing this clean out procedure. By the time you have paid me what it would cost, by the time you have paid me what it would cost to dig this all up and replace it. Thirty years. If we were to pay him or another company to come out and dig up the cleanout line and replace the cleanout line, and I went, oh my goodness. Now, full disclosure, uh, the, the you know, for from a pricing standpoint, what they are. Actually, I need to go over here. I need to put my climbing shirt back on because we're done there. Uh, we're not in danger of lightning anymore, so we can do that. But so the 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 amount of money it costs to replace it, you know, is 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 like oh my goodness, right? And he tells us. Oh, that sounds, oh, that sounds all sorts of sus.
Yeah, I guess we go down here and fight this. But so yeah, in in the, the the charge that you know it covers the time materials and all that is two hundred and fifty dollars. So by the time he has come out, um, whoa, yep, that's exactly what I thought. That's exactly what I thought was going to go on. All right. Uh, just a moment. Let me go ahead and open this chest. You guys just stay right where you're at. Royal Harvard. Okay. Um, we're going to politely um, drop this, grab that, and then equip this. Really? Okay. Whoa. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, we need to eat. We need to eat this. We need to eat this. And excuse you. Oh. Oh. Seems pretty good. All right, uh, what do we have over here? This is the weapon we dropped. Okay. Hey, it's a weapon we've never had. Uh, what is it? A Royal Guard shield. Nice. We uh we will absolutely be dropping something. Um to take that shield instead. Um the rusty shield, clearly. Like that wasn't cool. Like, I, I figured it was super sus, right? But, um... But I wasn't expecting us to be just totally ganged up on like that. That was... That was... That was uncalled for. And you know, there was something about the voice acting that was almost kind of sinister. That... that Honestly, it's kind of a nice touch. Voice acting isn't easy work. It's good work if you can get it, though. Pardon me. Pardon me. Even in the face of death, there are Koroks. Boom. 67, y'all. Bye bye So we need to put on our anti-gloom stuff. Because we're about to hit some gloom over here, it looks like. You're not getting much work done. I oh, I'm I'm, I'm sorry, Hobbs. I uh, hopefully it's it's not due to uh, you know situation at work itself. That that's usually why I hate. I don't get any work done sometimes because work is just not being cooperative. The Koroks are always the scariest areas. They, they, they absolutely are. 
They're um, they're like Mindy from, from Buttons and Mindy, right? Um, or like uh, just just a stream is so much fun. Ah, well, thank you for the for those kind words. Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna leave all of the marks. Oh, an arrow, another arrow. A strength and Lysel bow. Really? All right. We definitely want to keep the swallow bow. Just drop the boko bow. So I think what I can do here is to be smart about this because I, I don't want to so if I take this and I where is it at okay there we go there we go well They have unleashed the hoons. Um, wow. All right, so there's one of our long range weapons. That'll work. Well. Let's get to where we can. Ideally, we want to get to where we get to this whatever this whatever the shrine is. We want to get to the shrine before we got to call it quits today. Man, I forgot how epic Hyrule Castle is. Like it just it's it's always amazing, no matter the version of Zelda, right? Oh, did they put the shrine in Zelda's room? Oh, no, I see the shrine right there. Is the shrine. But can we make it into Zelda's room? Because that's what this was, right? This right here was Zelda's room, if I remember right. Um... Yeah, let's... let's uh... Yeah, this was. Oh yuck! Oh yucky, 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 yucky. Here we go. All right. Hyrule Castle, basement level one. All right. Sarah Tubomac. Hmm. Sounds like a uh, hut speak from Star Wars almost. The way up. Okay. And that's easy. You know, that that's actually going to be kind of interesting if you think about it. Um Because this shrine, right, with the way with the way this game built itself, um, not, 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 not. with the way this game built itself, right, it, it's it's supposed to be like you can you can play the game in any order you want. You can do whatever you want, when you want, how you want.
And so the reason why this is kind of easy is because um, honestly, it's oh, oh, that's neat. Well, that's horrific. Okay. Um, it, it, the reason why this is kind of easy is because it, you know, they have to make sure that this shrine could be accomplished by somebody who's played the entire time like myself, right? And has done the the four champions and or shrines or sages or whatever you know MacGuffin name they're giving them, because um, it was you know his champions in the first game. And in the in this game, it's sages now, right? And so they can't really do a whole lot crazy stuff. They can do some neat stuff like what we're doing here, but they can't really make it overly complicated because imagine that if you got here right and you got here first and you didn't really follow all the the plot points, and. and I gotta open the chest, I gotta find a thing and drop it. Um, because if they had a, a player that didn't really know all the mechanics, it just really wouldn't be a, a good play experience for that person. Boom. Bam. I don't know, can I hang it from there? I kind of can. All right. So they have to they have to kind of streamline that, right? Cuz they have to make sure that the play experience is fun no matter where people are. And we got us another shrine. Bam. That's shrine 63, according to our tracker. So what's the loading screen say? Because that's, that's always something important, right? 63. Looks pretty good. So, Zelda is over there. In the deep, deep, dark dungeon. Ha. Huh. So there's B3. Okay. We got just a few minutes left. Whoa. Okay. 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 All right. Um. All right. All right, go my Pokemon, go. Um. Um. 
Photo. Black Hinox. Well, now. Roasted whole bird. All right. Black Hynax horn. Okay. Hynax guts. All the foods. All the fixins. All the what is going on. Because, yeah. I'm not liking this at all. At all, Turtle Club. Like. I feel like I am being totally led around. Now, what's interesting though is we can move that. The King's Study. That's a cool shield looking back there. Royal Guard Boots. Hey, there we go. World Shield. So it's better than 50, so we can drop the Lizal Shield. that is there like a uh, oh it's because the yeah that's what's going on is this kind of want to get to the bottom of this but I also know that we probably have like a, a giant really bad plot thing okay Wait, what was that? What did I what did I catch with my Did I catch a Pokemon? Is that what I caught? It's one of the Pokemon. It was. It was the Great Eagle Bow. Ha! That is, that is, there we go. All right, now what? Whoa, it's a Gibdo. Interesting. Really, game? Hmm. All right. Well, I was hoping for, I was hoping for some actual stuff, but unfortunately, they just want to give us things. All right. Well.
So we gotta make our way all the way around there. Well, Turtle Club, we're going to have to call it. We, unfortunately, do have things that we got to get done. But, this was fun. Oh, my gosh. Hunter, welcome to the Discord. Let's uh, let's double check that while we got a, a brief moment to, to breathe here. And, hey, I do show that you got the thing that you needed to do. So, bam. Let's make sure that you get access to all the cool stuff that you get access to. And there you go. And Hobbs, thank you for hanging out with us. Really appreciate you. Let you get back to uh, the, the daily grind. Such a good time. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And speaking of good things, such a good boy. Such a good boy there. Rusty. Oh, he is dead to the world like always. Oh, and Shadow, our Supreme Lurker, thank you for coming in as well. Guys, Turtle Club, without you, I'm just a dude with a really bad hair bun. Just sitting in a chair playing video games. It's when you all come in, you hang out, you talk, you you know, we, we, we form a community, this becomes a channel. So thank you so much for that. You know, like, share, comment, subscribe, smoke signals, all those things. They mean so much to the channel. So really, really, again, want to thank you all for that. I am going to have myself a good night. You all have yourself a good breakfast, a good lunch, a good dinner. Um, whatever you're about to do to the club, as always, stay safe, wash your hands, and have a good one. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bum